to Mormon Book Reviews, where an evangelical encounters the restoration. I'm your host, Stephen Peinecker, and uh, just going to give a little quick update for the channel. I just a little housekeeping I want to do. Um, first of all, I've been I've got this phenomenal guests lined up who are asking to come on the program. Um, basically, folks, I don't really need to ask people to come on the program anymore. They come to ask me, and that's pretty cool. Um, and it's, it's humbling, too. Uh, but basically, I got a guy who's an expert on... Um, imagery and photographs of Joseph's alleged photographs of Joseph Smith, but also uh, dealing with the, uh, the death mask as well as the skull. And this guy reached out to me and he's one of, he said people have been bombarding him, asking what his opinion is on the latest Joseph Smith photo. Well, I have spent a few hours discussing things with him. And folks, I can tell you that uh, he makes a very compelling argument. Um, one way or another, we'll leave it at that. Uh, but I'm pretty well uh, convinced uh, that we we got something here, folks. Uh, so that's really exciting. So I just want to preview. We're going to be. I'm going to be interviewing somebody sometime this week. He's one of the top experts on images and uh, stuff with Joseph Smith. Also, just want to uh, thank everybody for the positive feedback I've been getting on doing the MMR format, which it's not another channel. It's just Mormon Media Reviews, and basically it's just like anything that's media related that's not dealing with books will go on the MMR label. Uh, but we're we're not changing anything up. The channel's not changing. It's still Mormon Book Reviews is at the heart of everything that we're doing. But we're going to have film directors on. We're going to have uh, we just uh, taped Rebecca Biblioteca and I just taped this weekend an interview with uh, some gentleman that just released a musical dealing with Mormonism. Uh, so we, that was a fascinating interview, and we'll be releasing that probably sometime this week. Um, it's kind of getting topsy turvy in the Mormon podcast world a little bit. Um, not that anything's bad that's happening. It just seems like there's a lot of stuff, a lot of things happening and folks you understand like I get background on so many things so I think this is really exciting times for our channel because you know like I said it feels like we're right on the precipice of really this thing really exploding and this is becoming the go-to place that people want to come to to tell their their background their or or their story or their uh what the scholarship you know scholars want to come on my channel in particular to talk about the latest scholarship so i'm i get previewed stuff that's not even because it's going to be presented next year's mormon history association stuff that hasn't been published yet um i'm i'm aware of all the stuff that's going out there i i, I people are talking to me and there's a lot of interesting stuff that's coming that's going to fundamentally really change uh mormon scholarship uh, big time um so very exciting times plus you know thomas murphy uh, this fall, he's uh, co-authored a paper with Simon Southerton in a major anthropological journal, and the channel gets acknowledged in the paper. Um, I've already been footnoted, and it seems like we're also the channel's being referenced a lot now on Wikipedia. So there's a lot of Wikipedia articles that have uh, using ours as our channel as a resource. Um, so yeah, a lot of uh, interesting people are coming on the program. So I have both uh, pretty big names in Mormonism. Uh, coming on wanting to come onto the program like mormon scholars but then within the mormon podcast world i am having other podcasters reach out to me too and i want to i want to pay it forward because when rick bennett took me under his wing early on um he really he was my first interview and it then turned out to be a gospel tangents uh joint production with mormon book reviews and uh i knew how important that was the role that rick bennett played in uh, recognizing uh the potential of my channel and um uh, taking a chance because he even said, I didn't really care for evangelicals, but you're, you're a nice guy. You're a nice one. And so it's kind of changed maybe Rick's even kind of perception of at least some evangelicals, which I'm more than happy to do because folks, let me tell you, I, I feel really bad that the type of Christianity, a lot of people who are members of the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are exposed to. Uh, I don't see a lot of Christianity there. Um, I'm not trying to be critical, but I've made like, I don't know, seven or eight trips to Utah now in the last year. And uh, I don't know, man, there's something going on that I don't like. And I, there's some wonderful Christians and I'm talking to some wonderful Christian ministries. Of course, Sandra Tanner, you know, you're the goat. Uh, but there are other Christian ministers and, and kind of we're building like an alternative Christian network within Utah that's taking a, just a different approach on how we engage the, the restoration and Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and in particular its members. And um, we're kind of, I'm just kind of, it's kind of organically happening. So that's another behind the scenes thing that's going on. Um, also a couple things, um, the book contest for the Sandra Tanner giveaway book, uh, Lighthouse. 
Uh, we are going to, I'm extending that deadline to enter the book contest to September 15th. Originally, I was going to do August 31st, but I'd rather just give it a little more time. I've got a few dozen um, uh, entries. So, you know, this is your odds of winning this book are really high when it's not thousands and thousands of people that have entered. So do yourself a favor. There's Go to mormonbookreviews at gmail.com and I'll have it in the link in the description for the email. And just, I want you to put in the subject heading, a book contest, and I need your full name, and your address, and also it's U.S. residents only. I apologize to my international residents. Somebody from Germany reached out to me one time and asked, and it was like, I don't know, it was like 50, 75 bucks to send to Germany, so I, I can't afford to do that, um, unfortunately. So it's U.S. residents only uh, that I will be able to send to. So that will be August 15th of 2022, book contest for the Lighthouse book featuring Sandra Tanner, written by my good friend, Ron Huggins. Uh, there's quite a few other things going on, folks. Man, you wouldn't know. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And I just want to thank everybody out there who's who's been supporting this channel. You know, I had this core group of people that have been along with me from the very beginning. And I want to thank you for being with me all along. And I want to thank the people that have found me in the last six months, that have found me in the last 90 days or last month. And I, I, I want you just to um, leave your comments about like any suggestions for guests you'd like to have come on the program or maybe even just leave some comments about you know what is the channel meant to you i hear some wonderful stories from folks i mean sunstone was phenomenal people's people came up to me some of them were quite emotional uh, about what the channel's done for them and that wasn't intended uh so i have a real deep connection to the audience and i just want to tell you all that i love you all very much i care very much about you I try to respond to all the emails. I try to respond to some of the comments, but I get overwhelmed. But I do read everything. I want everybody to know. And I do eventually get back to people. Sometimes it just, I get behind, especially with all the traveling. And then the COVID really knocked me out. So I just haven't been on top of my game lately in some areas. So if you have reached out to me and you haven't heard back from me, don't take it personally. It's, it, there's, it's just happening. That's just what's happening in my neck of the woods at the time. So I just want to remind my audience, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification if, our, if you like our program. Also, Anthony, I just talked with him today and I'm going to get at him about getting our uh, updated, our, our podcast. Now, I will say, if there's anybody out there that maybe could help us with uploading the audio, um, reach out. Uh, mormonbookreviews at gmail.com all lowercase and uh you know let us know if you could maybe help us out because you know i put it out there a couple weeks ago with my neville interview that went south and casey came in there and uh really helped uh make that thing happen and salvaged it so if anybody wants to help us maybe uh get the audio caught up for the podcast because it does a lot of people do download it and uh, I know that there's people that just listen to podcasts, and I have to respect that. I'm first and foremost a YouTuber, but I also recognize there are people that are listening to podcasts. So we want to honor you as well. So links in the description if you want to go to our merch store, mormonbookreviews.com. Got the merch here. Uh, PayPal and Patreon links if you wish to support financially support the channel. Um, I guess that's about it, folks. So either way, you all have yourself a great day. And remember, all the voices of the restoration will be heard on Mormon Book Reviews.